This right here is a bike that was hanging in the rafters of my shop when I bought this place. And it's been sitting there, it's been staring at me. It's a Coast Discovery, apparently by Huffy. Just a good old department store bike. In this video, I'm gonna be taking it and doing the most budget restoration possible. I'm gonna be changing out a few little things that need to be changed, but this video is mostly gonna be about getting this back into working shape for as cheap as possible. So let's get into it. I originally had some pretty big plans for this as like a full on restoration, but honestly, I don't know that it's worth it. It's just an old department store bike. Maybe if this was one of those more cool vintage ones, if it was a specialized or, or a Trek or something like that, maybe I'd do a little bit more, but for now, I'm just going to make this something that I can ride into town, grab some groceries, um, things like that. But I just want to get it back into somewhat of a working condition. And so to do that, I'm really just going to be taking, replacing these bars right here. I'm, I've got the Velo Orange utility bars with their utility rack in. So I'm going to throw that on here and then some new tires, some tubes, clean up, um, you know, clean up the chain, probably, I'm gonna see if I can get these, if, how these are working. Based on the bike, I don't, like in the condition of things, I, I don't think this was, this was really ridden that much. So mostly, I'm just gonna be throwing some tires, tubes, handlebars, which will be a little bit different because this is a, um, a threaded headset and everything. This is gonna be the most complex part. So I'm gonna be putting an adapter in there so I can use an, a normal clamp to go onto those Velo Orange bars. But other than that, it's just gonna be kind of cleaning it up and getting it ready to ride. Like I said, I'm doing this as budget as possible. So I picked up some used tires from the Bozeman Bike Kitchen. It's like a bike collective type of thing where, you know, used used parts and things can be donated and you can rent their tools or, you know, take that shop time. Got those used tires and then even the tubes are used. The only thing that I bought new aside from the bars, yes, I recognize those are worth more than this whole bike. But uh, the only other part was for up here for this threadless or the threaded, excuse me, uh, headset. I wanted to be able to run those normal bars. And so I had to figure out what size is gonna work in here. I wasn't sure what size this was, so I had to get my calipers out and measure it, as well as look up. Um, there is a little bit of a description right here. I looked that part number up, and that got me close enough. I think it's a 22.2. .2. So to start, I'm gonna start up on the handlebars, take all this off. There's a good chance I'm gonna be um, removing some of these cables, um, but let's take care of the bars first get that done, and then we can do the cables and everything like that. There's the spider that was living in there. These grips are just super nasty and hard and I'm not gonna use them, so I'm just gonna cut these. Actually, kind of a cool paint color. As great as this little uh, reflector is, I'm gonna loosen this up so I can pull that off because I don't need it. And uh, I think it'll actually be in the way of the rack. There we go. This is a uh, stem that I got off of my daughter's bike. She just needed a little more rise. And so, why not? Let's throw it on here. These are the uh, Vela Orange utility bars. 
They're actually pretty cool. And they sent, along with these, they sent the rack that mates up to it. And so the rack goes up here on the front, obviously. But also what's cool is on the back, that's the same spacing as for a water bottle cage. So you could put two water bottles right there. It's actually pretty smart. That <laughs> actually looks pretty good. I'm excited. It's gonna be cool on this bike too, because I mean, I was a little torn with what to do with it. I knew I wanted it to be just back running again. It's just nice to have another bike, but uh, I don't know. I wasn't sure what I would use it for, but having this rack on the front, I feel like is, is gonna be really cool. I believe you can run it, this rack either way. So either as, you know, out farther like this, or if you want a deeper rack, you mount it right there, or even up higher like that. Just, just depends on how you want it. I think I'm gonna go this way though. I'm gonna make it deeper. If you're wondering why I'm not spraying this off or anything, our first spring is over. So second winter is here at the moment and it's below freezing. So can't really wash it off right now. If I go do it right now, it's just gonna freeze. Sweet. That's really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna like it in this, this mode with it out farther. For some reason it makes more sense to me, but Maybe I won't like it as much, we'll see. Let's put these back on. I'm gonna throw these PNW grips on there. Normally these are on my cutthroat, but right now that's set up with uh, drop bars. So, I know, it's weird to, weird to say that, but I'm gonna throw these on. Love that they happen to be red. So they kind of go with the red theme of this bike. The type of brake levers that you want to get as much of your hand on as possible. <laughs> yeah, these are like a three finger, four finger brake. How about that? It's one of the reasons I say this bike I think was like barely used is the pads look brand new. I mean, obviously they're not. I'm sure I'm going to have some problems, but I think it's been hanging in this shop for. 20 years, just, it's just sitting there. Probably has 20 miles on it at most. So I know there's gonna be things <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna do eventually to upgrade this. Like I said, the drivetrain is one of them. Um, and definitely the brakes, I think are gonna be next on that list. Let's see how this does. Ooh. It's funny though, this chain is like not in bad shape. Again, it's got some dust on it, but I think I'm just gonna clean it off and lube it. Sounds crazy, but why not? I haven't dealt with dropouts like this and I don't know how long. It's been a very long time. I guess on my kids' bikes, but that's it. Ooh, that's a heavy wheel. It's actually rolling surprisingly well. I don't really feel any, I mean, there's a little bit. Might need to rebuild this at some point. Cleaning it up a little bit cosmetically, but mostly it's just that that's the braking surface. And uh can't have it too dirty, you know. So I think I'll run, I guess I'm mostly gonna be on pavement. I'm gonna set it at, oops, put that on. Set it at 30. That's 
that's a crispy tanger. Ooh. A little bit of dry rot. I remember my first mountain bike I ever had was a 2006, maybe? Specialized rock hopper. And I remember I changed the tube on it one time, went to pump it up, and didn't notice that the bead had come off. And as I was pumping it, all of a sudden it exploded, scared me to death. And uh, for a long time after that, I was very cautious when it came to airing stuff up. This chain is probably going to be the <laughs> worst part of it, the drivetrain. Like, honestly, the brakes will probably be okay. <laughs> um, we'll obviously see, but it's not like I'm going mountain biking with it. So I think they'll be fine. Except for that's, you know, that whole issue where they don't center. There's one gear, there's one link in there that is, oh, that's not seated. There's one link in there that is uh, not quite working right. So you'll see it when it catches right there and the derailleur bumps. Like, yep, right there. Pretty sure it's not it trying to shift. I think it's, I mean, maybe it is. Let's see. I'm gonna replace this cable. See if that does the trick. I don't know if you do this, but at Walmart now, you get a full set of housing and cables, two for the brakes, two for the derailleurs, and uh, it's 10 bucks. That includes everything. Obviously, is it gonna be the highest quality? No, but I mean, for something like this, it's perfect. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to replace this housing, but I like the red on it. I think it looks kind of cool. So, I'm trying to leave it. As you can tell, the seat <laughs> having a hard time. So it was hanging by a strap for who knows how long. And uh, it really did a number on this. Otherwise, I mean, I feel like it's actually, is like a, I don't know, really padded. Let me see if I can uh, even get this free. But I think that's kind of the last thing besides like, I don't know, adjusting the bars a little bit. I think this thing's pretty much good to go. It's definitely a little small for me. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't say what size the frame is, but uh, I think it's gonna work. And I think the rack is actually probably fine right where it's at. Oh. <laughs> hmm, does anyone like their saddle nose up? Because this one is. Maybe that's the reason why it didn't get ridden very much. Would not be very comfortable. Oh, there we go. That looks fine. For a uh, old mountain bike, that'll fit. Okay, so to recap what we did, replaced the threaded stem with this one so that I could run a different stem so that I could run the Velo Orange utility bars with rack. 
threw on some new grips. Only put one cable in. That was all I had to do there. Put tires on front and rear. Half cleaned it <laughs> with a rag and some soap because it's too cold to go out and spray it. And yeah, just put that one derailleur cable in. Cleaned up the chain a little bit. Is it dirty still? Yes. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But this was quite a bit worse before. It had been sitting for years. And actually, I kind of like the, the color scheme, the vibe, everything. I, I really like that. That bar on the front just looks really cool. So this video was a little bit different than what I normally do. And uh, I'm no old shovel. I'm not doing full on restorations here, but uh, still a fun little project. I'm glad I got it done. And I think it's gonna be a fun thing to run into town, to run errands, you know, maybe even I've got some some animals, some pigs and stuff like that. So maybe I'll even ride it around here to move feed around or something. The rack's not that big, but you know, we call it the utility farm rack is what we'll call it now. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe and let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.